not fight my brother. I don't want pull no trigger. I just want me, cause I can't play. I don't want no wahala, no wahala, no wahala. Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Beulah, and if you're not, what's good, y'all? So as y'all can tell by today's title, I will be giving y'all my skincare routine along with my sister. And I have the cheaper side of the skincare routine and she has the more expensive side. So I'm just gonna take y'all about my routine. Let's get right into the video. So to start off, I always set and scarf my head along with um, a facial scrub headband and then I go ahead and brush my teeth this is not really part of skincare it's more oral care but that's just what I like to do and then I move on to my simple micellar water this just takes off any excess makeup that I forgot to take off within the day I didn't go nowhere today so there was really no makeup on my face and my face isn't really dirty so that's why it is like basically clear on a tissue paper moving on I like to start cleansing with my clean and clear morning burst um, cleanser y'all are gonna cancel me for this one because this is a very bad product but I use it because y'all see it works for my skin so I go ahead and wet my face and then I start scrubbing with my brush and I put on these um, water catchers that's what I call them from I think Amazon they're like three dollars So after cleansing the first time, I go ahead and double cleanse with my CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. And I just started using this, but it's starting to really take away like some little spots y'all can see on my face. And I really enjoy it. As y'all can see here, it foams so much. It was just all up in my mouth. That's why I was making these faces. Excuse me. I went ahead and grabbed my towel because it just started dripping all over my shirt for some reason. And I didn't like that, so I went ahead and covered it. After I finish double cleansing, I go in with St. Ives Acne Control Scrub, and y'all are gonna cancel me again for this one, but I like the way this product works on my face. I feel like it just takes off the dead skin cells that are on me still, and it says as you age, you'll see the results and how bad the product is, but I'm not believing in that. So this is what my face is looking like after double cleansing and exfoliating. Next, I go in with my little mini fan just to dry my face. I do not towel dry my face because I just feel like towels hold so much bacteria and I just like my face to air dry because it just feels cleaner. After drying my face, I go back in with my Botanica Coconut Face Mist that just mists my face and makes me feel more refreshed. I also love the smell of this. And then I go in with my fan again and dry that up. Now to start moisturizing, I use my vitamin C serum, which is from the Dollar Tree, y'all. This serum is so good. It just makes my face feel a little bit more plump than what it usually is. After using that serum, I go in with my Kyle's Acne Clearing Solution, y'all. And this is like a, a liquid pimple patch, literally. So it clears up your pimples in a day. Now to moisturize, I use my Pond's Dry Skin Moisturizing Cream and excuse the bottle because I don't know where the label went. But I go ahead and put that all over my face and rub it all in. Now finally, I'm making this face because y'all, if you don't slug with petroleum jelly Vaseline, I don't know what you're doing because this is the one thing I do at night that keeps my face moist and fresh in the mornings. So after I finished washing and cleansing my face, put it on my moisturizing on, I go ahead and push my headbands back just to make sure I got all up near my scalp and everything. And I take off my silk scarf and my lace is what? Still laid, exactly. Now I brush out my hair, just make sure everything's looking flawless. And y'all, these are the end results. I know my skin's looking a little bit rough still because I've been going through it. I'm in summer school, so I'm a little bit stressed, but it's okay because my skin's getting back to normal. And yes, I still have two more steps left. I go ahead and use my Blistex, make sure my lips are medicated and minty. And finally, I put on my Broadway Coconut Oil Lip Gloss because I'm just a coconut girly. 
Mwah. No bars. And that was my skincare routine. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to my sister. Hey y'all, what's going on? My name's Dumaybe and I'm her sister. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. First and foremost, I like to start off with a damp face and then I go in with my Pan Oxal Acne Cream Wash. This really helps prevent new pimples, it clears my pores, and it does break the acne cycle, ladies. So I typically let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. So I'll get on my phone, TikTok, whatever the case may be, then I'll wash it all off. Next, I go in with my Fenty Beauty Skin Total Cleanser, and y'all, if you know, you know. It's a plush and creamy cleanser that instantly washes away dirt, oil, and any impurities without leaving your skin feeling tight. Last but not least, I'll go in with my Kojic Acid Turmeric Bar, and y'all, this is literally my holy grail for my skincare routine. All right, let's get into these moisturizers because there's a lot of them. So I first go in with my Mederma Scar Gel, and this literally helps to take off all the scars that are on my face, whether it's from pimple popping or anything like that. Next, I'll go in with my Good Molecules Brightening Toner. This just really helps to brighten my face up. So after you rub that all in, you go in with your Fenty Skin Fat Water. This just really restores back the moisture to your face after washing your face. Now back over to Good Molecules, I'll go in with their Correcting Serum. I try not to use too much of this because a little does go a long way. We're almost done guys, so then I go in with my Fenty Beauty Skin Hydration Visor and this just really locks in the moisturizer that I already put on top. It plumps your skin and it leaves it feeling really soft. Alrighty guys, last but not least, I go in with my Ponce Clarent B3. You want to really be generous with this product and try to slug as much as possible to retain the moisture and you're all done. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.